In this demo, I'm going to expand off the previously created project to add a few built-in tabs to a channel in Microsoft Teams uh, with the uh, support for calling the Microsoft Graph Teamwork endpoint. Now, this demo assumes that I've already created the project that I created in a previous demo. Uh, so that's that project is all set up with um, single sign-on support and support for obtaining an access token from Azure AD by exchanging the ID token with Azure AD uh, and by implementing the OBO um, OAuth2 flow. The Microsoft Graph Teamwork endpoint supports modifying the tabs in an existing channel. The user that executes the code that calls the tabs endpoint has to consent to one of the Teams tab permissions. So in this demo, I'm gonna create a couple tabs using this endpoint so that I need, I need to grant consent uh, or have consent to the permission that enables reading and writing tabs. So I'm gonna come over here to Microsoft Edge and go back to our app. And I'm gonna go add a new permission. So I'm gonna say add a permission for Microsoft Graph. It's gonna be a delegated permission. And the permission is called Teams tab. And let's go find the permission that we need. There's a couple. I need one called uh, read write for team. So read write for team. Looks like that's it right there, just off the screen. There, and I'll add the permission. And then to simplify testing, I'm gonna go ahead and select grant admin consent um, as well to grant the new permission to all the users in our tenant. Now, the next thing we need to do, we need to go back over to our app. If you remember from the previous demo, I need to also update the demand for the permission. So I'm gonna go ahead and take an existing permission and just copy it. And this is the permission for Teams tab read, write for team. There we go, so that's the permission that we're gonna need. Now, before adding the tabs um, that are gonna load Word and Excel files, I need a Word and Excel document for that I can actually load inside of a tab. So let's go back to the browser, and I'm gonna go back into my team, and I need to go to the file section and make sure that I have a document and a workbook that I can use, and right now I don't. So I'm gonna go create a new Word file, We'll just call it document one. All right, so we'll just do test and then we'll close the file. And then I also am gonna need a Excel workbook as well. So workbook one. And I'll just put a little bit of content inside of that one as well. So this one's called Workbook One. Actually, let's change the names of these. I'm gonna change this, uh, rename this one to just Workbook. And I'm gonna rename the document to just Document as well. Now, when I create a new tab as one of the Office built-in tabs, um, I'm gonna to need to know two important things about each of the files that I wanna display. I need to know the document ID and the document URL. So both of these values can be retrieved via the Microsoft Graph API, but I can also get them from the URL. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these files and I'm gonna say open it up in SharePoint. So the file is located in the documents library that's really the shared documents library. So inside of, um, that's inside of SharePoint. It's also located in the general subfolder within the library that matches the name of the Teams channel that I was just in. If I look at the URL of the general folder within the documents library, you'll notice that I can see the name of the team. I can see the name of the team. I can see the name of the document library. And then if I look in the root folder here, I can even see some additional stuff where the name of the folder is general. And I can see also that there's uh, the ID of the file uh, itself. Now from this URL, I can get the URL of the document library. So let's go ahead and just copy this. And I'm gonna come over here and put this in a text file inside of our project. So I can get the name of uh, our document library or the URL of it. So it's just this first line right here. Um, and then I can also get the name of the folder, which uh, is general. And we can get that as I just showed you a minute ago from right here, the general folder. And now if I go back to the browser real quick, so I have, I have what we need here. If I go back to the browser, uh, I can also uh, come over here where I found the file. And if I select the file, 
it's going to open it up in a different URL. If I grab this, and if I look at that, I will find the ID of the file, which is right here. It's got surrounded by a percent seven, uh, percent seven B and a percent seven D. And those are like the curly brackets that I would have on either side of them. So that value right there is for, I'll do, I'll say word. And I also need to get the document URL. So the URL for the, for the document is that's the ID uh, I have in the shared uh, documents folder and the file is called document.docx. And then I'm gonna have the same thing for the workbook, .xlsx, but I need his uh, GUID. So let's go back to the browser and let's grab that. So there's our document, and then there's the workbook. So I'll grab his URL and find that exact same place where the GUID is. There, so now we have, now I have everything I need for both the Word and the Excel, uh, and the Excel file. So now let's update the project's existing tabs, um, the or existing tab that we have. So I'm going to create a button that's going to add a tab that's going to load a Microsoft Word document from the team in the tab. So let's go find our code file for our tab, which is uh, this tab.tsx, and at the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new reference here. We're going to add in a new reference for an import statement for uh, let's see from the Fluent UI slash React icons North Star, and we can act. There's actually an icon for both a Word file and an Excel uh, file as well, or just a Word and Excel thing. Okay, now let's add two event handlers that are going to be using the use callback hooks. Um, these are going to be executed. Let's go ahead. Let me just scroll down here and we'll add these and I'll explain what these do. So we'll just put these at the very end again. Okay, these are going to do basically the same thing. So what these two methods do, so we have one for uh, Word and one for Excel. So the Word one, what this is going to do um, these are going to be executed when um, the user is gets an access token, and it's also going to demand on the Microsoft Teams uh, context. So each one is going to submit a request to Microsoft Graph's tab endpoint uh, to create new tabs. So notice that each one of them is using a very specific um, Teams app o, uh, odata.bind. And they're both, one of them is going to be re referring to the Word tab. As you can see, it's listed right here. The other one is referring to the Excel, oh, a little bit farther down. Oops, let's go back. There, we can see there's Word, and then we have this other one here for Excel. Now, I've pasted these two things in, but I'm going to have to make some changes here. Um, I need to use the ID and the content URL of the files that we added. So I'm going to come over here and find for the Word file. This is the GUID for the Word document that we that we have. And this is the URL for the file that we're going to load. And then this is, let's grab the Excel one and we'll do the same thing for Excel. And we'll grab the Excel document or workbook. Now to get these functions to run, what we're going to do is we're going to just use a simple uh, a button handler for that. So what I'm going to do is right after this join teams that we added in the last uh, demo, I'm going to add two buttons. And both of these buttons, what they're going to do, one of them is going to show Word and say add a Word tab, and the other one's going to add an Excel tab, and they're going to call their respective handlers. So now let's test our new functionality. So I'm going to run the gulp ingrok serve and let this process spin up. Now that it's spun up, we'll go over to Microsoft Teams. We can close our tabs to our existing files. And now let's come over here to our tab that we had created. So I'm going to go to our Graph Teamwork tab. And you can see we're showing the same data, but we now have this additional, these two additional buttons, one for Word and one for Excel. So I'm going to select the Word tab. And we can see here we have a new tab that's been added for Word. And when I select it, it's showing now our Word document uh, that we told that we wanted to show. And I could do the same thing with Excel. So if I come over here to 
the list of tabs, you can see I have my Excel tab now. And we can see the Excel document, our workbook that we had created.